AJ, and welcome to my channel. I created this channel to help foster the love of math, as well as help mathematicians like you with some math concepts you may need a little help with. Today, I'm going to start with the read out loud of the book, Missing Math, A Number Mystery by Laureen Leedy. Last Monday was an average day. It wasn't odd or weird, till numbers all around our town completely disappeared. They zoomed away in one big swoosh and left a total mess. The problems we are having now are simply numberless. Numberless meaning too many to be counted. Man, look at these funny puns. It wasn't odd, simply numberless. We try to write more numbers down with pencil, chalk, and pen. But even when we think them up, they slip away again. So none of us can count amounts, add numbers, or subtract. And nobody can multiply. That is just a fact. We have to find our numbers. They can be any place. The best detective in our town is working on the case. Lots of knots, but no numbers. Our teams don't bother playing sports like football anymore. What's the point of playing games if you can't keep the score? The TV channels are left for good. We tossed out our remotes. And no one gets elected here since we can't count the votes. No TV channels. Man. How would you survive in this situation? Imagine if all the dads couldn't watch games anymore. Our piggy banks are full of coins to spend on something nice. But money has no value now, and nothing has a price. We can't sell mail or packages by truck or boat or air. Without the right address and stamp, they can't go anywhere. No street numbers, no zip codes, and no postage. Should we wake up or go to bed? When should we come or go? Because our clocks can't tell the time. We have no way to know. Our calendars have empty squares, so who can tell the date? This might be April, May, or June. We have to estimate. And an estimate is to make a rough guess. Do our eyes are set now? No numbers for hours. I guess everyone's gonna be late or early. You won't be able to tell. I hope my birthday's coming soon. When will my party be? I wish I know how old I was. What an emergency! She's still a calf. How old do you think she is? We checked these books out long ago. It's hard to say quite when. We'll keep them for a year or more, then read them all again. Our dinner tastes peculiar, but it isn't Daddy's fault. Our, his cookbook has no quantities. He put in too much salt, and a quantity is an amount. No, no, I don't want any. Ah, here's my favorite book, A Can of Worms, Poems for Invertebrates. Buttons on the phone are blank. I can't call anyone. The phone book is no help at all. This isn't any fun. Computers stay asleep all day. They will not operate. Computers, the calculators are upset. They cannot calculate. Calculate means to use math to get an answer. No phone numbers. Who is this? Fun fact, computers run on ones and zeros. So with no numbers, they can't work. How tall am I? What do I weigh? And what's my temperature? Without a way to measure things, we just don't know for sure. Our hats and books don't seem to fit, and neither do our shoes. If we can't tell what size they are, it's very hard to choose. I think I have a favor. No sizes. So where did the numbers go? Imagine if you can't tell if you have a fever or not. How are you supposed to know if you're sick? The 
workers who are building things are in a frightful fix. The brand new house is nothing but a crooked stack of sticks. Can our detective solve this case? It's very hard to wait. Our numbers must be rescued soon before it's way too late. I can't build anything if I can't measure first. What's that thing on the hill? Let's go see! Hurry up! I've tricked you down, you number thief! You're number vacuum too! I want to ask a question, please. What were you trying to do? To make the longest number that the world will ever see. I've been collecting numerals to reach infinity. Infinity is a number that never ends. Let's put this vacuum in reverse. Here's a one, and there's a two, and a three, and now a four. But math will be impossible soon until we get up several more. A five's arrived, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, hello! And last but not least of all, welcome back, Zero. I've made the numbers go out again. Here come the numbers! It's time for us to celebrate! We miss math every day. Our numbers are at home again, and math is here to stay. Hooray! Hey look, she's eight years old. Isn't it great to have our numbers back? Yes, but these library books are way overdue. Your punishment is to fix all the phone books, so you'll need lots of glue. I hope you really enjoyed that book, mathematicians. But what did we learn today? We learned that math is very important. We learned that we use math constantly without realizing. And we learned that that calf was eight years old. Goodbye, mathematicians.